Welcome to the preview of week two of the subject World History 2. Uh, as stated in the previous weekly video, you can always find these videos on the Beyond Classroom or BC platform. You can find them in uh, the page for Sundays. That's where it will be posted at the top of the page. And what you can expect from these videos is a preview of what you can uh, of what we will discuss present and learn throughout the week, as well as what uh, the assignments you can expect for the for the week as well. So we left off last time in week one with introducing new global connections. And uh, week two, uh, we'll, we'll, we will be continuing that subject. We will continue on with European searches for a direct, direct route to Asia. This, of course, brings in the famous Christopher Columbus into the picture. We will discuss how Portugal built a trading empire in South and Southeast Asia and delve into the rise of Dutch and Spanish dominance in Asia and the Indian Ocean. Many rivalries were, uh, were taking place. A lot of trade was taking place between different cultures, different ethnicities and different races. Uh, all of that had led to what is known now as the age of exploration. So these topics will be comprehensive in terms of geography, economics, and of course, the factual data and resources of world history. We will present and talk about the decline of Mughal India and its effects on European traders and the European connection with the Ming and Qing China dynasties. So those two dynasties were going on at the same time. Um, there is a there is a slight the Qing dynasty comes a little words after the Ming dynasty, and we will discuss their different reception to European influence. We will compare and contrast their uh, their reception to Europeans and their uh, their ideas of Renaissance uh, as well. So. In the final part of the week, we're continuing on with new global connections. In this video, we will talk about Korea and Japan's attitudes towards contact with the outside world. Korea and Japan had conflict amongst each other and they chose isolation when it came to dealing with the West. So we will discuss the economic impact of that, the political and social impacts as well in addition to some interesting reads in the reading corner relating to the literature, art, and music of the time. European conquests in the Americas, over, of course, over here we talk about the voyages that Genoese mariners had taken to uh, explore the continent of the Americas. When we say Americas, we're not only exclusively speaking of North America, such as Canada and the US, but we're also discussing Latin America, South America. So we will talk about map making, who the key voyagers were, and how these voyages were financed. The results of the first encounters between the Spanish and Native Americans will come into play. We will um, identify their first meetings and what influence it had on both cultures and how the Aztec and Inca empires were impacted by Spanish conquistadors and European colonization. Spanish conquistadors, of course, this is a key term for the lesson. You can find your key terms on your BC platform on content block three. So thank you very much.